to buy a car and I'm looking for a five-seater crossover. Ha! You're in luck, ma'am. We actually have both of the best sellers here. We have the Geely Ascara and the Geely Cool Ray. Hmm. Wow! They both look good. And but which one should I buy? How about buying both, ma'am? Mukhaya nyo yung ma'am. Do you find both crossovers attractive? Wondering which one would best suit your family's needs? Are you in the same boat as Sam? Are you stumped by which Geely crossover to get? Well, we're here with Bearing PH Motoring's West Cabongkal where we'll check out both the Cool Ray and the Ascara in an epic crossover showdown. Let's do this! Hello guys, I'm Reagan, and in this video we have our very first collab effort with Bearing PH Motoring's West Cabongkal. You see, Wes and I have been good online friends since last year and it would also be great guys if you subscribe to his channel as well. To do that, you could uh, go to the description below where I'll put the link there. Now Wes, we, what we have here are two of the hottest crossovers that came out from Geely Philippines. Over here, we have the Uber Feisty Geely Cool Ray Sport. And over to the side, we have Geely Ascara, which is the bigger brother with its four-wheel drive and mild hybrid engine. Now, Granted, both of these crossovers have five seats, but they belong in two different uh, car categories with the Cool Ray starting in as a subcompact crossover, while the Ascara is more of a compact crossover that battles it out with the likes of the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CR-V. So, we both know, Wes, that the Ascara is bigger and more expensive, but let's see if bigger and more expensive translates to the better choice. So, Wes, are you ready to go for that drive? You betcha. Let's go for that drive now. Right. You take the Cool Ray, I'll take the Ascara. The Geely Ascara is the bigger and the heavier of the two crossovers and you could really feel it off the line. It has 190 horsepower with its mild hybrid engine but it also has added weight because of that same mild hybrid engine and the battery at the same time. It doesn't feel as fast as the diesel compact crossovers being offered in the market. It just doesn't feel as fast off the line. I mean, yeah, I guess that's because its curb weight is 1,745 kilos and that makes it around 200 kilos heavier than the other compact crossovers in the market. It's still pretty agile and quick though, but it's really just not class leading. Now despite that added fat, the Geely Ascara still gets stellar fuel economy. Its mixed city and highway driving can net you 17 kilometers per liter, which is still better than the highway fuel economy of the Cool Ray, which stands at 16 kilometers per liter. I mean, it's not like they added that weight for nothing, right? I mean, you still get more luxurious appointments inside the Ascara, and you get all of these creature comforts and tech. Plus, these Napa leather seats, they're pretty hard to beat. And you also get another cool party trick in the Ascara. You get dancing LED lights on your dashboard that the Cool Ray doesn't get. So it's quite clear that the Geely Ascara targets the Titos and Titas of Manila. It doesn't have the same boisterous personality as the Cool Ray, but it cocoons you in executive luxury and comfort. It's really the more logical choice. It's the brainy choice. Well, it's obvious that Wes just drove the Cool Ray because you could see it on the smile on his face. So how'd you find it, bro? That thing was sensational. It accelerates like a sports car. Wow, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's amazing how these two cars have practically the same engine and transmission, yet they have completely different personalities. Right. The added weight of the Ascara truly plays a factor here. You see, the Ascara is heavier by 305 kilos. 
So that's like having four passengers with you all the time. Right. Well, now it's my turn to get my seat time in the Cool Ray while you go for the Ascara. Let's right. go. Let's go. Other car, bro. <laughs> All right, let's go. You know, being behind the wheel of the Cool Ray, it really gives you the impression that it's got a bigger engine than what its body should have. I mean, it's got 177 horses, so this baby is the most powerful subcompact crossover in its class in the local market. Most other subcompact crossovers are probably in the 140 to 160 horsepower range. So that explains why driving the Cool Ray feels like it's a sports car masquerading as a crossover. It's just crazy and it's crazy good. <laughs> Now where the Cool Ray gets left behind is the fuel economy. In uh, city driving, city traffic, you'd probably get around 7 to 8 kilometers per liter, which really is nothing to write home about. But in highway driving, you could probably go as much as 16 to 17 kilometers per liter, which is still lower the combined uh, fuel economy of the Ascara, which comes in at 17 kilometers per liter. Now guys, I dare you to try to get more mileage from this Cool Ray because honestly, it would be a shame to keep it in eco mode the entire time you're driving on the highway. As I said in my previous videos, I'd always keep the Cool Ray in sport mode. I mean, the instrument gauges alone is enough to put me on sport mode every single time. Now anyway guys, enough of this fun. Let's head back to Wes and see how he's doing in the Ascara. So Wes, now that you've driven both cars, what do you think of the Ascara? Well, despite having a bit more horsepower, the Cool Ray still felt a bit more agile. But overall, the Ascara was a bit more refined. So I'm kind of torn. Well, that's the thing, you know, the Ascara has comfort written all over it. And that's not really a bad thing, guys, because not all crossover buyers are looking for performance. There are some people who would prefer to have an Eco Warrior while enjoying all the luxuries in one handsome package. So to wrap it up, which five-seater Geely crossover is the one for you? Well, if budget is not an issue, then opting for the more luxurious Geely Ascara with its fuel-efficient engine and luxury appointments is the more compelling choice. It's a bit heavy though, but despite that heft, the fuel economy doesn't seem to be affected because it sports that mild hybrid engine. In terms of performance, however, it is severely hampered by this added 300 kilo weight over the Geely Cool Ray. You could really feel the performance issue, but then who cares about performance if you're going to be driven around in the backseat of your Ascara anyway because you have a chauffeur. Now, when it comes to the Cool Ray, wow. All I could say is, wow. This baby here has the most powerful engine in its class and it wins in the performance department hands down. So if you're the type of driver or owner who would drive his car every day on their own, you don't have a chauffeur, then, and if you want performance above all, and you have a heavy gas foot, well, the Geely Cool Ray is the performance winner in this Comparo. So at the end of the day, if you are to ask me to choose between these two crossovers, I'd go for the Geely Cool Ray. While the Ascara targets people of my age group with its luxury features and its fuel-efficient engine, uh, I still put top priority on performance driving, guys. And the Geely Cool Ray truly delivers, especially if you have a heavy foot. I don't really care much about fuel economy anyway, and I own an MX-5, guys, so that should already tell you that I'm more of a performance driver than anything else. So it's the Cool Ray for me. Thank you guys for watching our very first ever video collab effort. If you like this video, hit, give it a thumbs up. Head over to Wes's channel as well and give this video a like as well. Now, let us know guys in the comments below if you want us to do future Comparo and collab videos like these. Anyway guys, I'm Reagan with Wes Cabongkal and we'll see you again in another video. Bye. Bye. -bye. Alright, cut. Are you still? Take a long brother. Ah. Isang hataw nga tayo dito. <laughs> Sarap po. Oh.
<laughs> the frick, yeah, baby. <laughs> Sarap. Oh, tulin. <laughs> wow. Sleeper, you know? Yeah, it's a sleeper car, man. What a ride.